Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the collection sets and their current cycles, and we're also going to go over all the daily challenges for the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail on each of the daily challenges. So doing the collection sets, you'll make obviously money, and doing the daily challenges, you'll make gold. So these are the best ways of earning money and gold here in Red Dead Online, and that is my personal opinion. Um... But uh, it's also a fact. This is, uh, these are the two best ways of earning each of their uh, types. Whatever you're trying to earn, money or gold. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. And I wish you guys the best of luck with all of your Red, your Red Dead Online experiences. But let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the collection sets and their current cycles. So we've got the uh, anything that uses the field shovel has obviously been nerfed and changed. You can still it's still the best way of actually earning uh, money here in Red Dead Online. But anything that uses the field shovel is going to be completely completely a random dig site. If you guys want more information on that, then go ahead and leave a comment down below if you guys are newer to the game. But the field shovel will affect uh, basically uh, basically different sets like the fossils, which will be a part of cycle number two. We have the lost jewelry at cycle number one. We have the arrowheads at cycle number three, the family heirlooms at cycle number two, and then the coins at cycle number one. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I got kind of freaked out there for a second. I was not expecting uh, my cat to jump up in my lap as soon as I started the video, and it kind of threw me off track there for just a little bit. But anyway, um, so those are what you need to do with the field shovel. Now, the next four sets I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So make sure that you guys get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can, because I previously mentioned that this is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online. American Wildflowers is going to be a total of three sets every single day. That's going to be a part of cycle number two. We have the tarot cards at cycle number one. The antique alcohol bottles at cycle number three, and then the bird eggs at cycle number two. I wish you guys the absolute best of luck with all of your collecting here today in Red Dead Online. Let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, but before we actually do that, if you guys can go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe down below, it would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. A like definitely goes a long way here on the channel. It shows your love and support of these videos. It tells me that you want me to continue making these videos. And honestly, it just really helps me out. So go ahead and please like, comment, and subscribe. You're already here, so you might as well go ahead and do that. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the daily challenges. We're going to talk, go over the list at first, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive detail. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to start with the daily general challenges like we do each and every single day. We've got one Anthony Foreman mission completed. One crafted a horse care item. One defended a campsite. Two American, North American raccoons skinned. Three player kills with a bow in free roam events. One visited Bulger Glade. And then one visited Fort Wallace. The bounty hunter roll, we got three bounty targets hogtied with a reinforced lasso. Three bounty targets lassoed from horseback. And then three more than one bounty target brought in at once. The trader roll, we got three camp stews eaten. 20 donations to Crips. And then one resupply completed with five minutes left. The collector roll, we got three American wildflowers found. Two collectibles found with a metal detector, and then three collector maps used. The Moonshiner roll, we got Drank Your Own Strong Moonshine. One Moonshine bar changed decor, and then one Moonshine sold with at least five minutes left. And then the Naturalist roll, we got three desert animal samples taken. Don't kill any animal for 24 game hours. And then we got one legendary animal photographed. Now you guys have the opportunity of actually earning 11 gold bars each and every single day. 5 from completing the daily general challenges and 6 gold bars from completing the daily roll challenges. So that's kind of nice. The way that you guys can get 11 gold bars is to make sure that you've completed at least one daily challenge for at least 21 days in a row. Then obviously you're going to want to maintain that going forward because if you miss one day, you're going to have to start all over. Which is never fun to go back and start another 21 day streak. So there's always one daily challenge. It literally takes just a couple of minutes to go ahead and complete. I saw a couple of them already in that list, and we're going to go over them in just a little bit. 
Then we got the daily roll challenges. There's actually 15 of these every single day. The only way that you can get 15 is to make sure that you've purchased all of the rolls and then be at least a rank 10 in each of those rolls. That will give you access to 15. Now you can only complete nine. You can only pick nine. You can only do nine. Whatever way you want to look at it, only nine is the max that you can do anyway. So that means you actually get to pick and choose which nine of the 15 that you would like to participate in. So pick the ones that are the easiest for you guys to complete each and every single day. But if you're missing an entire, say, uh, roll, then obviously you're only going to get an access of 12, but you still can only complete nine, but you're uh, might be a little bit more limited on what you can pick and choose. All right, so let's go ahead and break these down. We got Anthony Foreman mission completed. So let's go and show you guys right where you can find Anthony Foreman. Um, Anthony Foreman is usually right here in this house right here, but for me today, I think uh, I saw him over in... Yeah, he's right here in Saint Denis. I don't know why he moved for me. He's hardly ever in Saint Denis, but uh, he's usually just outside of roads. So uh, if he's not in either one of those two spots, then make sure you just kind of look around. You're pretty much looking for anybody that's got their waving hand out there for you guys. All right, the next one on the list is going to be crafted a horse care item. Now, a majority of these do require you guys to use a campfire. So it can be any campfire around the map. There's two here in San Denis. There's one for the most part around every major city. It's not always inside the city, but it might be just outside of the city. You can always use your camp. You can use your wilderness camp, which is brand new to the uh, naturalist role. Or you can use like a uh, gang hideout or any other campfire that you can craft or cook at. The next one is going to be defended a campsite. So let me go ahead and show you guys a couple different opportunities that you guys would have for that. There's actually one right here in Blue Water Marsh, pretty much right between the A and the R in Marsh is a good opportunity for one. Uh, another one is... Oh, I don't really have any over here, so I'm trying to think of where they are at. Uh, there is one in Big Valley over in this general area over here. Just a little bit west of the W. There's one usually in the Great Plains. Uh, usually right in this area right here. And there's another one that you guys can actually find down uh, by Tumbleweed. Which is pretty much between the N and the E in New Austin. Right in this location. So uh, I hope that one of those locations will help you guys find one of the campsites that you're looking for for today. The next one on the list is two North American raccoons. Now, raccoons, for the most part, can be found pretty much anywhere on the map. So you guys will just have to pay attention uh, for for them. Uh, there's a ton in the New Hanover area, which is Valentine and Ro Ro uh, well, just outside of Road. So it's Valentine and Emerald Station. Uh, I seem to find a ton of them around there, uh, specifically probably right around the Heartland Overflow, which is right next to Emerald Station. The next one on the list is to get three player kills with the bow in free roam events. Uh, now, I'm going to recommend doing this with either Dispatch Rider or Railroad Baron. You can also do this with Cold Dead Hands. The reason that I'm suggesting Railroad Baron or uh, um, Dispatch Rider is because you actually spawn in with your horse in each of those events, which means that you don't even have to actually have to equip your bow prior to going into those free uh, roam events. So that means that uh, you can pick your bow and then pick like dynamite arrows if you want to or whatever arrows that you want to use. And then get the kill however you want to. Visit Bulger Glade. And I think the other one was what? Visit Wall Station? Four Walls. So I'll show you guys where to go for both of those. So just in case you guys don't know where Bulger Glade is at, Bulger Glade is right here. It's the Civil War battlefield just outside of Rhodes. Just make your way there. I mean, just lo riding along this main path will actually get it there. And then Wallace, uh, Fort Wallace is actually, that's Wallace Station. Fort Wallace is actually up here north of Valentine. Is where you guys want to go for that one. Valentine's the quickest fast travel location if you're looking for any of the uh, fast travel locations. All right, that's it for the daily general challenges. Let's go ahead and move on to the bounty hunter roll. The bounty hunter roll is the only roll that does pay out additionally in gold, so that's pretty fantastic. So we got bounty targets looted or hogtied with the reinforced lasso, three of those. Honestly, if you're a bounty hunter, you should have the reinforced lasso anyway, so purchase it as soon as you possibly can. If you guys don't have the money to, to purchase it, then refer back to what I was talking about with the collector roll being the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online. And it will, you'll have it within just a couple of days, I promise. 
We got three bounty targets lassoed from horseback, so you just need to be on horseback. Again, you can use that reinforce a lasso. And then we got more than one bounty target brought in at once. Now, the best way to do this is with a friend in the same posse that has the same exact daily challenge that you have, um, which makes it really nice. And then you guys just go after two people, and you're going to have to do that three different times. So you're going to get gold and money for participating in each of those bounty hunts. But then you can also get the daily challenge completed and more than likely you probably satisfied both of these as well by doing that. So literally all three of these can be done together. The trader roll, we got three camp Sue's eaten. As long as you have the stew pot, which I highly recommend that you purchase it. If you don't have it, you need to buy it right now um, because this one does come up a lot. Plus the nice thing about the camp stews is you don't even have to add anything to it and it'll actually help you build your cores anyway and completely for free after you once you buy it. And then you can actually add ingredients to it and you'll actually get golden cores. So I highly recommend that you purchase it. So you can eat any camp stew. You can be, eat the base quality or whatever one you want. 20 donations to Crips. I still think that the easiest one to do this is feathers. Just because feathers are probably the easiest things to get. Because you get flight feathers and then whatever type of bird feather that you're shooting feather as well. So if you're going after like egrets, you'll get flight feathers plus an egret feather or plume. If you're going after herons, you get a hair hair and plume and yada 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 down the line and then we got one resupply mission completed with five minutes left so basically do a resupply mission as fast as you possibly can the collector roll we got three american wildflowers which american wildflowers today will be a part of cycle number two two collectibles found with a metal detector if you want to guarantee that all of them are going to be with a metal detector go after the coins which will be a part of cycle number one and then you just need to use three collector maps I would use probably the coins and the American wildflowers in this specific case because that's going to get you that daily challenge completed. The moonshiner roll, we got to drink your own strong moonshine. As long as you have started a batch, then you can drink it at any point in time or even when it's finished, you can actually go to drink that and that one will be to completed. We got one moonshine bar, change decor. You just have to talk to Maggie and actually change that at the bootlegger uh, store. And then just change it. it can be a painting or it can be the entire theme and then we got one moonshine sold with at least five minutes left so basically just like i said with the with the, the resupply mission you're basically going to be selling moonshine as fast as you possibly can and then last but not least we got the naturalist roll we got three desert animal samples taken i think the easiest ones in my opinion are like the baja like pronghorn so either the buck or the doe iguanas or even the armadillos because for the most part you can find them anywhere down there the other thing that you can actually get is the pickeries so all of those will work and then you don't want to kill any animals for 24 game hours uh, i'm over halfway there already just from making these videos so all i have to do is wait a little bit longer but as long as i'm just getting samples from the desert animals I, it won't count as a kill so i just want to be really careful and not run anything over and then we got one legendary animal photograph now you can do the missions through harriet or you can naturally find them spawning around the world in free roam um and you just have to photograph any of them obviously i would try to go personally after anything that's not a predator just because you have a less likely chance of dying when you're getting that photograph but you can pick and choose whatever one that you guys would like to do but anyway that is all the daily challenges done gone over and covered if you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges by all means leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did find this video helpful or enjoyable in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.